everybody this is Trina I am going to go ahead and show you um, how I kind of took these cards and I've done a couple videos on these cards already um, one was how you read the instructions and um, uh, for the uh, miss you workshop your way card making kit and I made all four um, of these cards in the first video and then um, I did a second video where I uh, kind of um, use a few n other techniques that I like to use in my regular uh, crafting and I kind of uh, dressed these ones up a little bit and then I did another video uh, for this one and I'm gonna go ahead and do I think I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get two cards in um, or not but I'm gonna go ahead and do these again um, but this time I'm gonna change up the papers so I'm going to show kind of how you can um, take the same layout and change up the papers and get a whole nother look so um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue using this I've already pre-cut my papers for both cards so that should take up uh, less time and um, I went ahead and used the di cutting diagrams um, for the papers and I just if I needed this uh, particular paper I just cut it and you just could, you want to make sure that when you cut the right size that you make sure your design is like this here is up and down so that the rainbows are going across so you want to make sure your ponies are going across instead of this way so um, that's one thing to note um, I like I said I already did the cutting so I'm gonna go ahead and set these papers aside and um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started um, let's see and for these for this one I'm going I'm, I think I may just go ahead and keep using this um, uh, I don't remember what it's called. Sorry, I've been sick the past week and a half, so my brain is trying to catch up, and um, sometimes it does, and sometimes it just goes <clears throat> So um, that's kind of where I'm at at this moment. Um, uh, yeah, the cutting diagrams, and uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Um, cutting diagram I guess I'm guess just gonna call it I cannot remember what it is for the life of me for at this, at this moment so and I'm gonna use other papers as well I think and maybe do uh, kind of a combination of the other papers and uh, doing the other techniques that I used on my last cards so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the stamping I, I just kind of tend to start with the stamping I'm not entirely certain why but and this time I'm not going to do the embossing which you could do and I was thinking about maybe switching up the, the sentiment so the sentiment that's on this one just kind of switching it out I'm not sure if I want to do that but um, I would definitely have to change up the, the face there because if you say love you lots you can't uh, very well have a sad face okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here and this is my uh, stamp perfect stamp positioning tool from Hero Arts and I love this thing really 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 love it and I'm gonna go ahead I think I'm gonna go ahead and and switch those out I like to change it up a little bit so we'll do the love you lots with the hearts so we're gonna do this card only we're gonna use the love you lots um, for the sentiment instead and I think it'll turn out just fine make sure I have it up high enough because it's it's not really that big of a well I guess it is a little okay so we're gonna move that out of the way and go ahead and grab that and I'm going to go ahead and use the Close to My Heart Archival Black Ink. These ones were the older style um, ink pads. 
I love these too. But I love their ink. It just, it's, it does a great job. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this down. And my goodness, I have a lot of little, uh, this must be, my baby wipes must be pretty dry. They're leaving little things on there. I'm going to have to come up with something else. I'm going to flip this over and do that again. Hopefully it'll be more crisp this time. not liking that stamp. I think I'm going to actually pause this and go wash it real quick. I will be... Alright, so I went and washed it and dried it. Or rinsed it, rather. Hopefully it will work better this time around. And I'm hoping I didn't get any of those things on my stamp pad. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. Fingers crossed. If you use baby wipes, make sure they are moist, because if they are not moist, they will leave little fibers on your uh, stamps, which means I need to hydrate my wipes, because they are definitely feeling a little dry. Here's a new pack, and I'll moisten those up uh, much better. And then we're going to go for lots. And I'm just going to, I don't know if you can see all those little fibers or not. Cause of the, I don't know if you can see, there's a lot of fibers around there. But I'm going to try to clean that off with a moist baby wipe. Which should get them off fairly decently. Quite a bit better. Yeah, you definitely need moist baby wipes because otherwise you're definitely going to end up with little things on there. And it definitely picks up the ink. I don't know how it managed it, but it's definitely did. There we go. Lots. We're going to tuck that right up in that corner. And what color are we doing that one? I think I'm going to keep the colors the same. So I'm going to go ahead and do it in the uh, thistle. I'll go ahead and put this up for now. Aha! And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. There we go. Pull that off of there. And then we're going to work on the hearts. And I think we're going to go ahead and stamp the one heart with the face down here. And what did I do with my face? have a little block here for this. <clears throat> and 
and this one is in raspberry. And technically, you could do it in the um, thistle if you wanted to. You know, I just might, now that I think about it. Or I could even do it in the glacier. You know, I might just do that. I think I'm going to do that. Because this, these papers that I chose don't have a whole lot of the raspberry color, as you can see. So it's kind of kind of stand out like a sore thumb. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull... I'm just going to use this um, glacier color. Technically, the colors that they used were uh, Lagoon, but I don't have Lagoon, so I'm going to go ahead and use the glacier, and it seems to work pretty good. It's almost the same color as this, these stars here, so that will bring out that, and I think that will work just fine. It'll change up the color a little bit, but I think it'll, I think it'll work, work well. And there's that. And I'm going to clean that, that one off. And, and we're going to go ahead and do the little face. And because it says love you lots, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the kissy face. Not sure if you can see that little kissy face and I'm gonna go for black and make sure I have it straight and I don't want to squish it so you don't want to push it down really hard go ahead and clean that Alright, so I'm going to let that dry a little while I close this up. Oh, I can't close that up yet. I still have to use that for the... Okay, so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim this out. And I'm just going to go ahead and trim right around the edge. on the corner, so I'm just going to trim it down a little bit more. Oh, that's actually pretty good other than the top up here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to trim this down a little bit. And then this little guy is going to go down here. See, that looks good too. And then we're going to do these with this one here. And you know what? I'm just going to stamp it. Last time I used, not the time before last, I used the stamp press, but I think this time I'm just going to go ahead and stamp it down. Hope I have it in the right spot. that off. Oh, you can't even see that, can you? Sorry about that, guys. Alright, and that's enough for the stamping. Close this up. And this one might just take longer than I thought. I'm going to go ahead and stick all of this together 
like the instructions say. So I am going to go ahead and use these. This one is the guide here. And here this down to the black. Like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and adhere these down. And I will be using my the um Shimmer trim. So let's see, we've got this one here. I love this coral one. It's so pretty. I think it's sorbet is the color that they use. It's one of my favorite close to my hat colors. I just can't help myself. It's so cheery. And you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can make it um, very modern, or you can uh, make it vintage. I mean, there's so many options with that color. Sorry about being so noisy. I'm just trying to make sure we've got plenty of time to do the other card. And we're going to try to make sure this border and this and this match this over here. So we'll line that up as close as we can get it. And then this one is going to go here. I'm not sure exactly where I want this, but I guess we'll go there. Is that straight? That's straight enough. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab the shimmer trim that goes along here. And we'll put the shimmer trim down underneath. <coughs> and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim this off here maybe there we go and technically you could dovetail it if you wanted to instead of having just the angle you could I'm just gonna swim it. I don't know if I want that there now I think I want it farther up behind the thingy I so that it's not smushing the or covering his face Hmm. Well, in that case, I'm just going to go ahead and trim this. I want to try a dovetail and see what you, what we think about that. Okay. And this is why my videos end up so long, because I get an idea and I get some inspiration. And I just, I just feel that it needs to be tried. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I definitely like that. Okay, so I'm going to trim that off, maybe, and peel it back up, maybe, I might be able to, oh, oh, I think I got it, okay, and then we're going to trim this, or just sneak this right under here, like so. And then this will just go straight across from there. And that not only saves shimmer trim, not that I need to save shimmer trim, I have two of these, but that will, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and use my ruler. I think I'm gonna use my ruler and get try to get this. Uh, lined up right. Maybe. All right, so we're going there and say there. Hmm. 
is totally not straight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Totally would have worked better if I had just done a straight line, huh? Oh well. Live and learn. Sure, why not? Good enough. Alright, and then we're going to just trim that off on the back side. Like so. And then we've got our little heart guy with 3D foam tape. And we're going to trim that off. And Then we get to do a ring, which I think is one of my favorite parts. Like that. Close the camera right in the middle. And now we're gonna do our bling. Can't forget our bling. I always forget the bling. I don't. I love doing it, but and I love the bling, but I don't know how I forget it all the time. Okay, so the way they have this is right over here. So that right there. Hmm. Could do something up here or across the top. Oh, that's a hard one. I really would like to use these if I could. Do, 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 do three of those. One. Two. I don't know. That's kind of a lot. Okay, so I have an idea now. I have a little idea. What if we use one of those? Come on. Stick. No. Stick. Thank you. And then we'll move this one a little bit. Ooh, maybe not. I may, ooh, or may not. One here, and maybe one here, like so. I like that. All right, so this is my first card using different, uh, just switching it up a little bit. I totally switched this uh, sentiment out and the papers out and I moved the bling a little bit and added some bitty sparkles and um, switched up the colors on here and I actually love how it turned out. Now you could definitely um, distress the edges of these or stitch or any of that stuff and it would, or any of those techniques I guess, and it would definitely uh, enhance it even more and this is it. I'm just going to leave it. Anyways, um, so you could definitely uh, dress up your cards or you can keep them simple. Totally up to you. Whatever your style is. So I am going to go ahead and clean my desk off and get set up for the second uh, card, which is going to be this card here. And I think we're going to go ahead and keep up with the uh, switching of the sentiments and um, who knows, maybe the colors. I know I'm going to do different card uh, uh, paper choices, so um, we'll see how that works and I will see you in a, in a bit.